Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Ali Ye and welcome back to more Mighty Quest for the Epic Loot. We are going to be going and completing the very first world, the sort of story mode world, and then that will unlock a lot more things for us to do, including the battling of online people so we can go up and battle against anyone else that's made other castles. If you guys haven't seen video one, make sure you're checking it out first. This game is really, really good fun. There's loads of things to do, and we're continuing the story and the adventures in video two here. Since the first video I've ranked up a little bit, I'm level five now. Got uh, a few more abilities in the bottom left here, which I can activate when I'm battling and uh, playing other people. If we go to our inventory quickly, we can see I've got a lot better armor. This sweet red sword to take people on with, which is absolutely cool. I mean, I'm currently uh, leveling up my armory so I can uh, buy some better weaponry, even better than this red sword. Uh, but of course, actually upgrading things takes physical time, so I'm waiting for that to happen. But let's get on with it and take on the final um, castle. I've done all the other castles so far in this world. If we go to the regional map, you can see all of these castles that are designed for different leveled characters. And at the moment, we are in the very first world. And once we've done this, I believe we're going to unlock competitions, which means I can battle against you guys and battle against other people out there that have the game as well. Now, if you guys haven't already downloaded the game, you can do so for free in the description. It's literally a free to play game. You can jump on, play it. It's awesome. And I've added all of you guys that added me from the first video. So once I've done this cast, I think you guys will be able to actually attack my cast, which is really cool. So let's go in the very last castle of the first world. This probably isn't going to be easy. Uh, so yes, let's get into it. Got my awesome red sword here. Uh, this is scarily quiet so far. All right, some standard frogs. Nice. Taking these guys out easily. Not too bad at all. All four, all four down so far. Now, of course, got that timer to watch out for in the box or in the top right. Sorry. Let's use some of our special abilities and take out these guys. Bam! That was one of my new ones that unlocked last level. I can smash down on the floor. I really like that one a lot. So as you can see, buttons 1, 2, 3, right click and Q all do different things. <laughs> They're talking to their grand frog master. Come back here, fatty. That's right, that's right. Take that. And finish him off with a kick. Thank you very much. Make sure we're actually collecting all of the loot that we've come in to get. No point in coming in and not actually collecting the loot. Now where do we go to continue in this castle? It looks like we don't go straight on. We've got to go this way. Or maybe we, this is just an extra room completely. Can we go this way to find more stuff? Yeah, looks like we can go off to the left and the right. You can see in the bottom right, uh, the top right, the um, positioning of the actual map. We've got to get ourselves through here without dying. Now, I actually died on one of the um, castles within this world. So it definitely is getting tougher. And these things are doing more damage. It's like a load of frogs, basically. Taking them out with my massive swipes pardon me come on frogs come at me but as you can see we've actually almost filled up the amount of coins that we can probably actually carry so the coins themselves aren't quite as useful but the life force i'll happily take a load of that come on here come on mate come on frogs you've got nothing on me i'm waiting for the big bad guys to come along the massive massive dudes i think we're progressing nicely enough to do one boom baby special ability being put to good use Wait for that to cover. Going for a kick. Going for a number three. Yes, buddy. Finish him off nicely. We've got a timer here, as I keep on saying. I want to make sure that I'm paying attention to that. And I'm not completely going off track. Now, this is quite a complicated castle. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. Get away from the mousetrap. I shouldn't have said, let it go past first, and then we'll go. Okay, cool. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, bam. Man, that's a bad hit. Let's go and attack these guys with number three, hopefully. Oh, wow. We don't have enough mana yet to use that bit there yet, I don't think. So let's go and grab some of this. Now we can use it. Boom. See you later. Massive amount of damage. Let's take out the rest of these guys. Man, there's a load. Okay, I think now we can progress forward. So let's take out this big red guy. Come back here, boy. Come back here. Don't run away from me. There we go. Taking him out, buddy. This is definitely a lot longer than the other cars I've done so far. It is the end of World 1, so you'd expect it. I think this way is the correct way to go. Let's just gonna keep on running through here just to see what's going on. Boom. Oh, let's go swipe them down. Yes, buddy. Defeat 500 creatures. Thank you very much. Man, this is a crazy big castle. We'll be careful of that sign because that is going to explode and it has done so. Luckily, we avoided it, so that's sweet. Oh, here, here comes the big guys. Here comes the big guys. Oh, wow, wow. Let's go and attack him. 
There we go. Number three attack. Absolutely wiped out. A massive flame attack. Come on, buddy. Now, you can be multiple characters. You can be a mage and archers as well. So, there's multiple different dudes that you can be within the game, which is sweet. And our health is looking good as well, which is good. Stunned him. Thank you very much. A little bit of a swipe there. Let's knock this guy back. Number three again. Pow. So, the damage you can do and all that is related to how... What sort of level you are, what sort of equipment you're using, and since we're using pretty good stuff, we're doing... <gasps> Uh oh, okay, let's attack him. Boom, I think we missed. This guy has got a lot of health. Uh oh, let's go knock all these guys back and just finish them off because otherwise we are going to be screwed this many things attacking us. Let's go attack him again. Number three, number three, number three. Number one, number one, number one. Let's go and use all these different things on him. Let's go and spam him with a good attacks. Okay, we've got to use a. Got to use an item, got to use an item. Alright, sweet. So I used my potion there to make sure that I had. Enough health to take the rest of those guys out. That was really close. Pick up all the loot as well, making sure I'm not missing out on any of that. I think that may be the end of that world one. Woo! That was a long freaking battle, dude. Sweet. Let's grab all our reward. We've got the maximum amount of coins now. 2,500. Wow, we almost have the maximum amount of life points as well. Thank you very much. 700 XP. We may have reached level 6. Awesome. Click to continue. Yes, please. Thank you. We have defeated Snottingham of World now, 1. Today you can see I'm waiting for my to um, this place with creatures and blacksmith to fill Watch up. Watch out though. Opulentia has strict building codes that not even I can bypass. Believe me, I've tried. <laughs> you can have one boss room. As you progress, this number will grow. Start off by building a life force mine. Needed to gather the juice to create a... Awesome. So now we're going to start defending our castle because now people can come and attack it and we need something to actually defend it with. Alright, well, so what we need to buy first from the architecture office is the Life Force Mine. Uh, we will finish that off, so now we've got the blacksmith level up, and then we can go and plant the Life Force Mine. Or oh, it's already within the architect's office here. Sweet. So we just go and buy that, and then place it down place it in the corner over here. So we've got some gold we can collect there, but we've got the max. Oh no, we can collect it. There we go, thank you. Let's so have a life force mine now completed. Now you should add a summoning portal where your minions come to be born from the uh, land. Sweet. Install a summoning portal, yes please. Let's go and construct a summoning portal. Can this be placed in here? Yes. There we go. How long will it take to finish? Okay, only a few seconds, sweet. Thank you. Time to add your very first minion. Yes, please. Summon the minion. Okay, so these are all the kind of minions you can get. Oh, sick. Look at this spider, level 16. Wow. Lord Malibone. Wa Malibone. Wow, jeez. Okay. So let's go and fill up our place with just basic stuff, but better than one. This is a derp. Nice. So we place it within here. We can add more than one at the same creature and to go into the summoning portal. Try adding another one. Let's go and place another one here. Another one here. Defensive rating. The number indicates the maximum defense rating in your cast the maximum defense rating. Okay, so the more you put in it, the more it'll go up. Summoning portal to gain access to new creatures. Awesome, so we actually upgrade it and get more creatures. Click the summoning portal, upgrade. So we can get more creatures. That's what, we want. That's what we want, baby. Finish now. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Let's go and have a look. We've got more creatures. Maybe we shouldn't have spawned quite as many as the other guys. Ooh, Cyclops. Yes, please. So can we place them within this area here? Yes, here we go. So we can place them into the sort of boss area at the, back, at the end of our castle there. Let's go through the process of specialization to that Cyclops. Sweet. Oh, of course, you can slam some powerful dashes towards the enemy's hit. That's pretty useful. Dashing towards the enemy, that'd be quite Great annoying, choice. I reckon. Now, on a side I'm basically note, building the castle that you guys are going to come along and attack. <laughs> the, boss area. the first creature you place will create something called a defense area. You can only have a certain number of minions at any given moment mm. within a specific area. Apparently, the man doesn't want you to make your castle too impregnable. Not very free enterprisey, if you ask me, but hmm. you can't fight City Hall. One other important thing to remember. Okay, so once if someone came along and attacked our castle, we'd lose around about 20% of 
of the money that we currently have. So it's probably best to actually spend your money. It's basically a good reason to spend your money. So that means you're going to lose less money. So uh, raise your defenses. Add 25. Add creatures into your defense rating of 25. So we've got some summoning portal. Let's add in some more of these bad boy creatures. So we add one here and here. Let's add some snorters in as well. Let's go and put them just in line. Thank you. Are we allowed to add any more defense? Actually, let's go and add one more to the bunch to add it three. Screw it, one more, then we are at 25. Nice. We can add traps as well, sweet. All right, select the summoning portal. We're going to summon some traps. Thank you very much. Ooh, so here are all the minefields and the stuff that we've come against before in other castles. So we're going to zoom out again. Grab that money, thank you. Go and grab the trap, and then we can actually put that in there somewhere as well. So if we put it sort of like, uh, where should we put one? There. So now that we've defeated that first world, I can go and continue the storyline with the second world, or I can go into the friend zone and take on you guys that have added me so far. So there's loads of you guys here that have added me. Some of you guys got really good castles, some of you guys have literally just started off. So let's take on someone here who has a pretty decent castle. Um, he's defeated three heroes here, so it could be quite cool. Let's take him on and see what happens. Now, if you get looted too many times, you'll, your castle will be shielded, so if you do get looted, then it won't actually be um, effective, won't actually lose anything massively. Oh, hello, this is gonna be tough. Let's go in with a massive attack. Come on, take him down, take him down. Thank you. Ooh. This is going to be tough. This is going to be really tough. Thank you. Alright, this is just a practice go anyway. Just giving it a go. Seeing how we will fare against this castle. We're doing alright. We've got some potions as well. Want to avoid that. Looks like a trap to me. Uh, let's go in and attack this guy. Oh, they're doing the optional sort of stun attack that I decided to give to my defense guy as well. Thank you. This is quite a short castle, I believe. Oh, want to avoid them. Thank you. I'm going to go in and swing wildly here. Take him on with a three attack. Thank you. He's down. So this castle is set up in a similar fashion to my castle. Thank you. Is that everyone? Is there one frog left? Yes, buddy. I think we have just defeated our very first castle online. Yeah, buddy. But of course, this stuff is shielded because unfortunately he's been attacked too many times. But that was awesome. Our very first... Nice one. So there we go. We have taken on a castle online. We've finished World 1. We've set up defenses for our own castle. We're doing a few more videos. And if you want to be within the videos, add me online. You have a chance of being included. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Click on any of these other videos if you haven't seen them. And I'll see you guys on my next video.